Good morning, my friends. Welcome back to another day in the life of a teacher vlog. So today is Tuesday, August 24th, and this week we are doing social studies. So I have a couple things that I need to do around my room this morning. Per usual, I brought all kinds of food for the week, but I need to clean out my fridge because my fridge is kind of like full of stuff. And then my rats made quite the mess in their cage last night. So I'm gonna kind of clean that out. Let's see what's in here that needs to go. <laughs> okay, so the star of today's video is this amazing, amazing new standing desk that I got from FlexiSpot. Oh my gosh. You guys, it's literally the greatest desk ever. So as you guys remember, I used to use this rising and falling rolling desk that I got from Apex Desk, I believe. Um, and I just found that it was too small, like the surface of it was too small. So I did move it over here and made it a flexible seating space, but I replaced it with this amazing FlexiSpot desk. FlexiSpot has to be probably my favorite like office supply store as far as furniture goes because their products are such high quality. I have one of their tabletop desk risers, so it used to go on top of that desk, and it's actually at home in my office, but this desk is like 5,000 times better because it's its own piece of furniture and it doesn't take up the space on top of another desk. So this one's actually the Comair all-in-one standing desk, I believe it's called the EB8. I'm gonna link it down below for you guys. But I wanna just show you a couple of the features that come with this desk because it's literally amazing. So this desk has a little drawer in it. Yeah, a little drawer in it so I can keep like all of the things that I reach for all the time that I don't wanna keep on my little teacher cart. And then this desk also gets plugged in. So you could choose to plug it in or not plug it in. I'm plugging it in because I figured out a way to keep it like plugged in safely but the reason I like it plugged in is because you can adjust the height on this and you can make smart settings so like let's say you want to stand but you don't want it to be too tall you could set it to one of these settings and then it can rise as well what I also love about it is that it does have these like USB ports for charging your thing. So like if you need to charge your phone or your iPad, you could definitely charge it right here. I'm not sure what this charger's for. I think that might be for like, um, like Android maybe, I'm not sure. And then obviously the power button. But this thing gets pretty dang tall. I'm gonna show you real quick how tall it gets. So if you're like a super tall human being, <laughs> I'll show you guys in relation to me how tall it is. Uh, but this desk is amazing. It was super easy to put together. My husband threw it together in like 20 minutes. Um, and then we just brought it to school. Everything is like tucked underneath it. So there's not a whole bunch of stuff hanging down. Like it's all secured very well to the top. Obviously you have like the cord hanging here. But if you assemble this in, and put it in the right spot. Like I have it right here behind this um, table for of kids and it's fine like when I have it at my position it's not in the way or anything like that and then I just have the rest of it kind of coiled underneath and I still use my cart because I want the table space like that was the whole purpose I wanted a bigger surface area desk that was standing but was adjustable too because I loved how that one went up and down but this is so much better because it is so much bigger. And FlexiSpot has so many different options. If you just check their website, they have smaller desks, they have large desks, they have desktop rising desks. They have so many options. So I'm gonna show you guys height relation real quick. So as you guys can see, I did put a little stool here because by my third block class, I am a little bit tired and I do wanna sit. And also, if I'm working under the document camera, I have a chair I can sit down on if my back is hurting or like if I just need to sit down, my legs are sore. However, when I'm standing at this desk and it's fully raised, I think this is fully raised, let's see. Yeah, this is the top level. So I can literally rest, and I'm about five, six and a half, five, seven. I can just rest my arms right here. I could potentially 
um, work with it this high, but I'll show you my ideal height for this desk. So I'm going to just raise it down. I'm actually going to press four because you can do smart settings on this. And my husband did set it um, to my ideal height at um, setting number four. So this is the height that I keep it at when I'm actually teaching. And I love it because even when I have like my Chromebook and stuff up here, I can use my document camera and it's like perfectly at eye level. Um, I just kind of turn my computer around. I can plop my webcam on here. Um, and then I'll also show you the lowest setting. So this would be the setting that I would use to sit here with the stool as well. So like I can sit right at chest level um, and it's super comfortable. And then again, you can put it down as far as you would like as well. So it could be a regular desk and if you wanted to offer this as a spot for your students to sit at, like if you're not interested in sitting at it but you want it for your students, it does get pretty low. So as you can see, I could potentially do some like scientific demonstrations here. I could totally sit in a comfier chair, in a child's chair, on a stool. Um, and then I could also do stuff more that's like if I need to work from above, I have that option too. So anyway, this is, this is definitely like the highlight of my classroom furniture. Like I'm so pleased with this and I just really like how it looks in the room because it does sort of match the other tables. And I was fiddle, fiddling around with the layout of my room quite a lot, but I found that I wasn't really using this community space because um, during our reach time, we do have to pull small groups and individuals for interventions. So what I've been doing is just having the kids jumping up on tables, kind of meandering around the room and using kind of this space. There's another big old space on that side. And then there is still space back here. I can just kind of push in the chair and move the cart and then it's perfectly fine. So I just haven't been using the circle um, formation a lot. So I just decided to move myself. I did have that desk back here because I like being able to see the TV screen and not have to turn my head. Um, and so this just puts the icing on the cake because now I have this big space to work and it's just super helpful. So anyway, I'm going to put it back to my favorite setting. That's setting number four. Um, and it comes with like directions and stuff. So if you're trying to do a smart setting on one of these, I believe this is the button that does it. Um, and then you can just set it at your favorite spot and then you press the button and it goes right to where you want it to go. So anyway, I am going to put the link to this FlexiSpot standing desk down in the description box below and any coupon code that I have for it, I will put down there as well so that you guys can check it out. All right, you guys, so it is now my specials time and I am getting ready to eat. I just made myself a little sandwich and I'm probably going to eat some plantain chips with my sandwich. Oops, I need to open or use the ones that are already open. There's like 15 of these in here. Um, so yeah, so today's gone really well. I'm just doing a little bit of grazing and then catching up on drinking some water. Are these cute? These are the little maps that they made.
Hey you guys, happy Tuesday. So I'm sitting here at my desk and I've got about 10 minutes until kids arrive, but I was just kind of hanging out, getting a few things organized, making a to-do list and sorting out what I want to use moving forward for my geography unit. And I think I found something that's pretty good that I wanted to show you. Um, so fourth grade social studies in Arizona is really just geography and history of North and South America. And so I found this pack on Teachers Pay Teachers. It's from um, Teaching Ideas for You by Amy Menz Menzney, maybe. Uh, but anyway, it goes through um, the geography of North America. I really like this. Um, it's got all kinds of like notebook pages, which I really like. So, and I think I could supplement by finding books on Epic to read about North America because next quarter what I want to do is focus on North American cultures. So going into Native American tribes um, and uh, the history of North America. So I wanted to really solidify geography and like the landforms and landscapes and features of the continent before we go into the history so that there's a better understanding of where all of these places, these people were. Um, and so I'm gonna be starting that tomorrow with, we're gonna be reading a book on Epic, which I love using Epic because I don't have textbooks and especially for social studies, like you definitely need something to go off of. Um, and so I found this really cool book on getepic.com I don't know if you guys can see it. It looks like this. It's called Discover the Continents, North America. And it's made for the age range of five to seven-year-olds. So the text is really simple. And my SPED kids will be able to hopefully keep up with this because it's not totally like a bunch of words. So anyway, we're going to be reading that tomorrow as a group so we'll do some popcorn reading we'll look at the pictures and then i plan on doing this little activity which is where they make their own physical map of north america and then there's a south american one that i'll save for my south america unit and so essentially what it is is it looks like this you can kind of see it there what i like about this product again i found on teachers pay teachers i don't remember what this one's from or where this one's from but it has all of the features already labeled and written in there so the kids don't have to, I mean, let's be honest, they write a little sloppy, um, especially when they have to squeeze stuff into this tiny map. So basically what they're going to do is go along with me and color the different landscapes, the different features, mountain ranges, um, and um, geographical areas with crayons, and then we will be labeling them with these little keys. So this came with this pack. And again, I really like it because the features are already already written down. And so the kids don't have to write them in, they just have to color them. And then what I would really like to do before the quarter's over is have them make salt dough maps of North America and have them paint and label the um, physical features again. But at the end, once they've learned all about it and um, then that could be like a take home uh, assignment or project that they could do. I do have all the salt dough. I have all of the stuff to make that paint. Um, so that would be a really fun end of the year kind of like, or not end of the year, end of the quarter geography final project is to like make a salt dough map, a 3D version of North America. And yeah, it'd be super fun. So anyway, that's what I'm working on. <sighs> okay, so it's now the end of the day. And as I was saying, um, I'm gonna work on getting my glee club established. So um, it's now the end of the day and I feel like just all over the place. Anyway, I have a little to-do list of things I wanna get done today because I don't have any meetings this afternoon, which is amazing. I basically have like three hours to work. So I'm going to copy glee club sheet music. I'm going to finish my glee club who goes there? Oh, it's you. Uh, we're gonna grade some papers. We're gonna enter some grades into the grade book and we're gonna update some sub plans and redeem JoJo points. So that is the plan for today. Okay, my friends, so it is really the end of the day and I have gotten so 
much stuff done. It's not even real. So, a couple changes to my classroom. Just wanted to show you guys because some things were not really working. Sorry. Some things were not really working for me, and I wanted to make this more of a functional space. And now that we're like getting into routines and all that stuff, um, things were just needed to be moved a little bit. So, couple things that I've done since last time you guys have seen the room. Um, I did move these tables to be more of like a counter space, um, which will work just as good for what it's meant for. It is meant to be a lab station location, so there should be one, two, three, four, five, six, at least room for five kids um, at this counter space space and it still allows for plenty of room for that then I moved the tables to be um, three and three I have my beautiful flexi spot desk back here because I like being able to see the screen from the back of the room and then I can see majority of the student screens other than like these two and these two from back here and then what I did was I took the white tables away I just took them apart and I'm storing them over here because I don't want to get rid of them. So I have the tables just right there and then the legs are under the black curtain. And then I stole a horseshoe table. <laughs> I didn't steal it, I just, I'm using it. Um, and then I went and grabbed six little chairs so that I can pull some small groups back here. And then I also thought that this could be another station spot, so like, you know, when I do stations, this is another table that they can use. So it's really not that big of a deal. It's just more designed for me to pull groups because I am starting to pull students at least three days per week for about 15 minutes, working on catching them up if they're absent, redoing assignments with them, doing interventions. And so I am utilizing a small group space, so I needed this kind of area. And then I think I mentioned before, but I'm using this um, other rising desk as a flexible seating area. And so I still have all my flexible seats. Um, I have one spot here, one spot here, another one there. And then a kiddo can sit in this chair and use the black tabletop. And then they could sit here if they wanted to. They can still sit back there. So everything is kind of a little bit more organized and then I pushed even though I hate that it's not centered under the window I have to move past it so I moved this down so that I could have like a more tight space and be able to get back there so I did move things around I put that little table under my desk because when I sit there I face this way and so my feet just go right there it's not a big deal I don't sit back here very often so and then I did get a monitor um, my sweet next door neighbor Sarah gave me this monitor to use in here so that when I'm grading I can pull up the kids assignments here and then I can have the grade book open on that one so anyways that is everything it's 353 so I am going to pack up and go home Tonight, I'm taking Cash to see the Paw Patrol movie, so we're gonna go to the movie theater. Cross your fingers that it goes well. He has been to a few movies before with his grandma, my mom, and he's done pretty good as long as you keep him fed and, you know, it's a brand new Paw Patrol movie, so I think he'll be plenty engaged. So anyway, I'm gonna end this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and don't forget to check the description box below to check out the information on this beautiful Flexi Spot rising desk, and if there is a coupon code, it will be linked down below. I am just waiting to hear back about that code, um, so check right at the bottom of the, or right at the top of the description, just right there, and you will have your coupon codes, your links, and everything you'll need if you're interested in that flexi spot table. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys.